Today in Review This Thing, we're gonna shoot three different rogue ammunition loads out of this Mossberg SA-28 with the Jebs Choke. This is Adrian with Review This Thing. For our test today, in the 28 gauge, Rogue actually makes three different loads. We're gonna shoot each one at 40, then we're gonna move it out to 60 for a little fun and see what we get out there. If you don't know, Jebs and Rogue are kind of the same company, so the Jebs Choke is pretty much designed to shoot Rogue ammunition really well. As with our other videos, we have the Mossberg SA-28 topped with the Burris Fastfire 3 on a Meadow Creek mount. Let's shoot it. Let's start it off with the nine shot. Okay. And you know the deal, it's not sighted in for this gun, but we're gonna take a look at how many pellets we have in a pretty compact space. <laughs> Holy smokes. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Little hind left, no worries. Our numbers in our six inch circle, 154 and 325 in our 10 inch circle. That's a whole lot of pellets. That's nice. That was pretty impressive. Now we're gonna move on to the nine and a half shot. There should be more pellets in this nine and a half shot because they're smaller. Just mainly looking at what those numbers are and how cool the patterns look. Hopefully they're pretty awesome. Let's check it out. Man, wow. I have to mention here though that these Birchwood Casey targets are not as impressive as they used to be. That pink used to be a lot more shockingly impressive, but still, look at that. That's a lot of pellets in that turkey's head. As you would expect with our nine and a half shot, a few more pellets in each circle. So we got 204 in a six inch circle and 354 in a 10 inch circle. So at 40 yards, the turkey better look out. Our last load at 40 is that Rogue 10 shot. I'm pretty sure these are brand new to them in that 28 gauge. So I'm pretty excited to see what they're gonna do down there. Let's go ahead and shoot it and find out. Should be a lot more. Let's go see. Man, that's uh, actually is sighted in pretty good. 10 shot. And again, as you would expect, even more pellets in our circles, 202 in a six inch circle and 423 in a 10 inch circle, which is pretty crazy and pretty impressive if you ask me. The question I would have for you guys, comment below if you shoot with TSS. What are your thoughts on 10 shot for that lower, uh, smaller pellet? So there are the results at 40 yards. And you know, most of our tests we do just at 40 yards because that's, you know, about the the max, I guess, you'd really want to try to shoot a turkey. But if you're like me, you are not perfect and have probably misjudged. So we're going to scoot it on out to 60 yards and uh, just see if you should make that mistake if you're still solid. So let's do it. 60 yards. Starting with number nine. I'm also going to aim at the same spot and see if it drops or how much it drops. Let's go find out. There you go at 60 yards, definitely some pellets in the hand. So would you be safe at 60 yards should you misjudge? I would say pretty good chance. So six inch, 57 pellets, 10 inch, 134. We did lose somewhere between like a half to two thirds of our pellets between 40 and 60 yards though. So that's why I try to keep it close if you can. So this is the Rogue nine and a half at 60. Well, alrighty. See if there's more in that nine and a half. That one seems to have dropped a bit more than the nine. But we'll find us a good 10 inch circle and go. We got 59 in the six inch and 120 in a 10 inch. Again, lost maybe half to two thirds of our pellets from 40 to 60. So that one I feel like dropped a little bit more than the other one. Now, obviously I could have aimed a little bit differently too, but it is 60 yards after all. 
So let's go ahead, last one, 10 shot, add 60 yards. All right, let's go see how it did. Well, now that's interesting. That one seemed to drop less. It's shooting left, you can see. I'm, I'll be interested to see how many are in a 10 inch circle because I feel like if that was more to the right, there'd be a lot of kill shots in that turkey set. In a six inch circle, we got 93, which is about half of what we got. And in the 10 inch, we got 234, which is more than half of what we got at 40 yards. This one also seemed to drop a little bit less. I don't know, pretty interesting to me that we kept a lot more pellets in that with that 10 shot than the others. What are your thoughts? So there you have our rogue ammunition with the Jeb's Choke out of the Mossberg SA-28. I think this was a really fun test to do, comparing just different loads out of the same, uh, from the same company, using the same choke that's designed for it. All of them performed really, really well. Now, as long as that 10 shot will still do the job, have the punch that we want on a turkey, then seems pretty cool. But if you shot 10 shot, nine and a half, nine, comment and let us know your thoughts. If you like this video, like it, comment, Subscribe if you haven't. And as always, thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching our Rogue Ammunition Jibs Choke video. While you're here, watch a bunch of videos, like this one, comment, share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel, check out our website, reviewthisthingtv.com, and subscribe to our newsletter. Also, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Go Wild, Threads, and Pinterest.